Hello everybody, my name is Eric King, and today I'm going to be reviewing a toy I've been wanting to review. Who? Violante. Now, this has to be one of my favorite uh, Godzilla monsters from the Heisei series and in general. It's just a, such a cool monster and such a good concept idea. So, basically, let's just get into the detail. Now, the detail on this figure is very good. It's mostly dark green, has the dorsal spines, has the mouths, but as you can see, they're not their teeth aren't colored in, but who can blame them? Uh mouth is alright. So yeah, it basically looks looks like a Biolante figure. So yeah, I think this would look well. Um points of articulation. His uh her uh all four of her piranha plant things move. But uh only four of them, so they don't move. Literally these are the only points of articulation. But they are bendy, so you can like move them like wow, what all what all what all But uh anyways how about we get into scaling which is where the figure kind of loses its touch. Now let's review. I just want to compare it with another Biolante. The first Biolante I had actually. This one. Now to be honest, sure it must have been hard to like. It would be hard to paint these like teeth in, but again, this guy was able to get teeth in, colored. Not to say it's bad. It's just, just telling people. And you know what? What? Why is it like that? Anyways, let's compare him with uh, Godzilla. That he fought, she fought. As you can tell, this is where the figure kind of loses its touch. Because usually Pinalante in the movie is like this big. Yeah. And it's not really much better with a NECA figure if you want to have it. You can like kind of bend him down, but he's just looking at the floor. So yeah, but if you don't care about sizing like me, this would work fine. So let's just compare with two small figures. So yeah, this this fits. This kind of fits, not really, but no. this fits in scale with the movie. Kind of, Godzilla would be like a little taller. So either your figure is too small. Too big. Yeah. And let's just compare it with other Heisei monsters, shall we? Let's get Mogira Mechagodzilla Destroya and Space Godzilla. Basically, most of the new characters. And let's compare her with one of the biggest, baddest monsters of uh, our history, King Ghidorah. But instead of using normal King Ghidorah, I'm going to use this guy, Kaiser Ghidorah. Yeah, I haven't used this guy for much reviews, so I might as well just do it. And as you can tell, this... It's okay. Not accurate, but... Okay. Now let's just for fun compare to the two kind of monsters she's with. Kiryu, Space Godzilla. Since you know they're technically same spawn. Since this guy came from this guy and she came from this guy and this guy came from this guy and possibly this girl. Did you get it? Good. Little family. And I would include Orga, but I'm too lazy to get him. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much the Biolante figure. I'd probably give it... Probably, a um, nine. Like, eight and a half. Mainly because, uh, Biolante's teeth aren't painted in. Again, that's not a problem for me. 
But still, with, if they could get it on a figure this small, and on every tooth, and they're all separately, separate, I think they could have probably done this. Not to say they c that it's not hard, but still. And uh, sizing, well, literally it just says it for itself. So yeah. Um. So yeah, but besides that, everything's really good. The detail's good. The um, coloring is good. It looks like the movie. Basically, a lot of things. So like, comment, and subscribe. And next time, I'll be reviewing. Hello, this guy. So yeah, uh, stay tuned for that. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!